Good morning everybody, how are you doing? Um, I'm just parking down at, so I've just parked down at Sainsbury's and uh, I'm going doing today's video. So today's video, as you've seen from the title, is all about Oldham's Lost Theatres um, or Long Gone Theatres or whatever I've chosen to call it. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going around a few places around town. Um, I'm going to feature only the cinemas that are gone. So, for instance, I'm not going to do um, what's in my jig. I'm not going to do the Grand Theatre because it's still stood. Plus, I filmed that umpteen times before, so there's not really anything I can tell you about that that I haven't already done. But these are the places I haven't. So, I'm going to walk up Clegg now, walk up Fruit Market, start off at the first place, and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Right everyone, so uh, we're just making our way to the first place that I want to show you but I thought I'd give you a quick view at Market Hall. Uh, it's vile anyway and it? it's not like the Victorian one that was here before but this is going to be another area of Oldham's retail that's going to be gone. Uh, looks like they've already started digging up the street and other bits and pieces. Anyway, let's uh, let's get on to Enshaw Street and uh, or Market Place this is called, isn't it I think? And I'll show you the first stop. Right, everyone, do you see this building here? This one on corner. You're a certain age, as most people who watch the channel, you'll remember this, what used to be here before. Specifically here in the corner, it was the Army and Navy. But the building that the Army and Navy store were in was... Uh, a building called Central Hall, which apparently was one of Oldham's, if not the oldest cinema, not theatre, but cinema, in Oldham. Apparently there was a bit of a thing, whether it'd be another one that's over an arse, or was over an arse, St George's Hall, I think it was on uh, Isedge Street. But uh, yeah, this was a very old uh, cinema where people used to go to. They did have live acts. I mean, I say it was a cinema, but they did have one or two live acts here. Um, but I wanted to show you this as a quick set off because we're going past it, but also for the uh, Army and Navy memories. We're going to make our way around the other side now. And uh, I'll tell you what, everyone, it's absolutely fleeing at the moment. The sun's gone in behind cloud. And uh, as, you can, uh, as you can see, I'm just making my way down to Parliament Street or Parliament Square. Tell you why it's called Parliament Square, shall I? There used to be a street that went off down here called Parliament Street. I think it were just about here. Because this is where, this area here is where John Platt's statue used to land. And then literally here where that door is, there was uh, a passageway that took you all the way around to St Peter's Church. But this was Parliament Street. And uh, I think that's why it's called Parliament Square. But anyway, what I want to do now is we're going to make our way down to uh, Retiro Street, Stroke Waterloo Street, because we're going to be looking at the uh, place where one of Oldham's largest cinemas used to stand many moons ago. Yeah, a lot of people probably remember it. We'll wait till we get there before we mention it. <laughs> right, everybody, we are on the corner of Waterloo Street and Yorkshire Street. And the reason why I brought you here is to show you the site of, like I say, one of all this largest uh, cinemas, theatres, or theatres, should I say. So, as it stands now, you've got the Liquid Envy nightclub that stands here. But many moons ago, the Empire Theatre used to stand here. And it was a beautiful theatre and quite unusual in as much as you would go downstairs into the base of the building. So below the street, someone's screeching there, some murder maybe or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you would. I'll be showing you pictures of it. Um, a wonderful building. Uh, occupied this site here as you see it. Now for many years, I can remember this in the, uh, in the 90s. Around oh, this area, you could, all you could see, and again, I'll show you all these pictures, but all you could see were the uh, foundations of the building, but it wasn't necessarily the foundations of the building, it was the actual inside of the cinema. They knocked it down and then just left it exposed for many years. And uh, um, 
but I don't know when they built this particular uh, Oldham landmark, shall we say, but um, as I said many years, I think it was the 1980s that they finally decided to knock it down. So anyhow, I've just brought you right back of it. Uh, I actually questioned myself then, have I got the right site? But I know for 100% I have. Um, this is Retiro Street. We've been on here before on the channel, but those houses down there are residential, you know. There's a couple of businesses in them, but mainly residential. People still live in the centre of Oldham. And this used to be a pub many years ago. Was it? Oh, no, it was here. Called Retiro's, and it were a bar. Uh, and I knew it because a friend of mine used to work behind bar there. I think he was called Matt many moons ago. Uh, but yeah, the site of the Empire, um, long gone and replaced with, I'm really sorry, but replaced with something that isn't really that exciting. Um, right, what we're going to do now, we're going to make our way down to the next one. Now for this next, a bleeding bus is noisy, isn't it? Right everyone, you see the work library is in distance and you see this car park here which is housing all the building stuff that they're doing at the moment but we can't actually go down it because they blocked it all off I'll try and walk upside if I can but I don't think we'll be able to see it but I can still give you the story so right here side of the library is a street called um, Southgate Street and on the corner of Southgate Street and fronting onto Union Street used to be the Palladium Picture Palace, I think it was called, originally. Um, and this place was built in 1917. Uh, and the fella who built it was, uh, was an architect, an older architect. This, this is the thing you see. Back in the day, like now, everyone tenders for the work, don't they? They'll come far and wide. You'll get someone, you'll get an architect from London who gets a commission to build a house, you know, on a... A building up here and you know and, and then you're left with the eyesores that we are but once upon a time Aldermers used to employ Aldermers as everyone did in the town because you know everyone had builders tilers plasterers you know architects I mean so many architects in Oldham that built all of these beautiful buildings including that one there uh, you know that they're, they're all over but anyhow the building that stood here it was originally called the Palladium and uh, it didn't have dressing rooms or anything, so you couldn't actually put any live acts on there. But um, I think for most people, you'll probably remember it as the ABC. Uh, I definitely remember it as the ABC. It got knocked down um, in the 19, in 1990, I think it were. But the story of this place were, it was early, it opened in the early 1900s. Um, over the years, it you know it was adapting with cinema and other bits and pieces. And then in the 1956, I think it were, the Old Murray opened it, or the big gala, and it were all posh, and they opened it up as the ABC, and it ran as the ABC for many years, until the 70s. I think it was 1977, they showed an episode of, or a showing of The Star Is Born, with Barbara Streisand, and Chris Christopherson, I think it were called. And then, I might be wrong at that, but I don't know. Definitely Barbara Streisand anyway, and then they knocked it, they, they basically closed it down. But well, back in the 80s, I think it was 86, let's see if we can cross over. Yeah, back in 86, um, a few people got together and they reopened it. I think they showed Rocky here, Rocky 4. Uh, it was a big deal, but it just wasn't to last. Um, I think they did about six months and then it actually got closed and then levelled. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, and that's that. Now, you will have been looking at some footage that, um, that I snuck in. It's not my footage, it belongs to Mike Calvary, I think it is. I've given full credit. The full video is on his channel. I hope he doesn't mind me borrowing it, just to show you the building. But I would highly recommend that you get straight over after you've watched this to his channel and have a look at that video of Oldham, because it is superb. Um, and I, if you are watching, Mike, if I can borrow the whole thing and do a comparison, I'd love that, but up to you. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get up to the next theatre. We're almost done. It's only going to be a short one today, everyone. Right, everybody, we're now back on Union Street. 
and uh, in the distance there I'm sure you're aware of what that building is that is Oldham's Job Centre it was across the road at some point over there in a new building and then they decided to knock down the building I'm going to be discussing now and build this faceless building <laughs> I'm sorry so like I've had an egg today don't I? I'm not um, actually in a really good mood today um, but I want to tell you about the Grosvenor the Grosvenor cinema opened to a massive massive uh, media storm if you like you know the, the, the best place in Oldham to come and watch anything at the pictures they started with silent movies in the 1920s and then by the time the 1930s came they uh, they moved into talking pictures um, apparently when you're inside it I mean it were beautiful you'll be looking at it now but when you went inside it uh, you, the vision of the watching the pictures were interrupted because there was nothing there to block no columns no nothing um, but yeah it was a fabulous building it had a few different owners over the years and then finally in the 1970s it was uh, I think it were bingo wall so it was it was cinema and then it were bingo wall and then it got sold to this fella called Tommy Smith and I think he opened it it was him who opened it he had the Savoy as well but he opened it as Cat's Whiskers so a lot of people remember the cats my mum used to love it she used to go in there um, and yeah the Cat's Whiskers for many many years after it was the cats uh, it got opened as Eddie's Place and then Bobo's, um, they're both nightclubs I think, uh, before my time. I don't remember, I don't even remember the building being here, um, but my mum used to tell me, and I think I have seen this, she used to be able to see tiles at the front, you can't anymore, they're all gone. I think I mentioned that in other videos. But yeah, the site of the Grosvenor, formerly the famous Cat's Whiskers nightclub. I think everyone, I'm going to call it a day there, um, and I'm going to tell you why. I came here without a coat today, and um, it's just a bit on the cold side, you know, I should have brought my bloody jacket, but it was right warm when I left Barnsley. So I'm going to do more on these, I'm going to, there's, there's plenty more to come at Oldham, Cin Oldham Cinemas and Theatres, and a lot that I haven't really got round to showing you today. But I will do a part two, if anyone's interested, and... Uh, yeah, we've got some absolute belters in the next one, uh, as is this one. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.